Hello everyone, and a special massive hello to all of our sparklers friends. Now, I've got this big box here on the floor. I'll just show you. We all know who lives in this box now, don't we? That's right, it's Jack. Shall I see if he wants to come out and say hello? Jack, you awake? Oh yes, he does. I'm just going to get him out for you, alright? Here he is. Say hello to your sparkless friends, Jack. I know, I know, they still can't see them properly, but we have seen a few of them, haven't we? Me and Belinda and you have seen a few of our sparkless friends, and we can't wait to see the rest of you when we can. So, should we sing the hello song? Welcome everyone and say hello, say hello, say hello. Welcome everyone and say hello, I'm glad you came. Right, whenever Jack comes to speak to you, whenever you come and see Jack, he brings his favourite book, doesn't he? You remember what his favourite book is called? The Bible, that's right. Here is the Bible. So... Here's the Bible, here's the Bible, special book, a special book. What's inside it? What's inside it? Let's take a look, let's take a look. All right. I'm just going to pop Jack on here. He's it on my lap just here. Perfect. So we have been thinking about how we can learn to live God's way, haven't we? And to do that, we have been looking at this tree. And this tree's got lots of different fruits on it, hasn't it? The different pictures, they're the fruits. The Bible calls them the fruits of the Spirit. And these things are the things that can grow in our lives when the Holy Spirit helps us. Now, today, we're going to be thinking about this one. And this one says self-control. This means remembering to think first before we do something so that we stop ourselves from making a mistake. Well, here's a story about our good friend Jack to help us. One day, Jack's friend Josh came to play at Jack's house. Jack was really, really excited. His cars were on the front room floor and in no time the two friends had started a game. Josh was playing with the fire engine and Jack with his favourite police car. They were chasing around the floor together and it was great fun. Now suddenly Josh grabbed the police car and he said, I want this now. Here you are, you can have the fire engine. Jack didn't really want a fire engine. He wanted to play with his favourite police car. Jack was furious and he said, that's mine, give it back. He was red in the face and he was so cross. He was just about to hit Josh as hard as he could. Oh dear. But at that moment, just in time, a good thought popped into Jack's head and he managed to stop himself. And just then, Jack's mum came into the room to see what all the shouting was about. I want my police car, said Jack sadly. I think you could each take turns, said mummy, and remember to ask first, don't snatch. That turned out to be a great idea. Jack and Josh had such a good time playing and taking turns. Let's play that game again next time, they each said to each other as they waved goodbye. Well done, Jack. You thought first and stopped yourself hitting Josh when you felt cross. That's called self-control and it's not an easy thing to learn, but it is a fruit of the Holy Spirit that God wants to grow in our lives. It reminds me of a story that Jesus told about the two builders who built houses on the rock and in the sand. There you go, look. The wise builder thought really, really carefully. And at first, he didn't rush to build his house as quickly as possible. God's Holy Spirit was helping him to think about maybe being a bit careful and, you know, thinking first before he acted. 
And God's Holy Spirit was helping you, Jack, to think first. And you showed that you really are learning to live God's way, the same way that the wise builder was. Can anyone remember what Jack likes to do when he's looked at the Bible? He likes to have some thinking time. Let's sing the song. Now we're ready for thinking time, thinking time, thinking time. Now we're ready for thinking time. What can I learn today? Yeah, absolutely. So Jack says he's really glad that he has thinking times because when he feels cross, he can remember what he has learned. I wonder if sometimes you feel a little bit cross about something and you have to remember to think first so that you don't make a bad choice. I know I do sometimes and it might be true that you do as well. So now we're going to get ready to talk to God. Let's sing. We know God is always there. Now it's time to say a prayer. Stretch hands wide, then give a clap. Fold them safely in your lap. We know God is always there. Now it's time to say a prayer. Sometimes we feel cross. Please, God, help us to stop and think so that we don't do the wrong thing. Amen. Right, so... This Sunday morning, again at half past nine, we'll be back on Zoom so you can come and see me and you can come and see Jack and Belinda as well. But before then, maybe you could bring something which you really don't like sharing that you struggle to share. So like Jack has his police car that he, he doesn't really like sharing very much and I don't like sharing the remote control. When the football's on the telly, I don't want to let anyone else use it because I want to watch the football. But... Sometimes we need to learn, don't we, that even though we don't want to share, we need to be really, really careful and we need to make sure that we're doing the right thing and the Holy Spirit can help us. So maybe you could bring something that you don't like sharing with you on Sunday morning so that we can all think about that together. All right, so we're going to sing the goodbye song now. Goodbye, everyone. Wave goodbye to Jack. We've had fun and he'll be back. Goodbye, everyone. Wave goodbye to Jack. We've had fun and he'll be back. Bye everyone.